My job is to build a strategy for research and really enable whatever the farmers need. Hello and welcome to this edition of the Iowa Soybean Association's State of Soy. I'm Michaela McGill, here with Joe McClure, the Director of Research at the Iowa Soybean Association Research Center for Farming Innovation. So Joe, I know our CFI does quite a few partnerships with different universities and organizations to help expand checkoff dollars and the different initiatives that farmers are working towards. Could you tell us a little bit about your partnership with the Iowa State University? Yeah, with Iowa State we have a lot of partnerships. Uh, we're working with uh, eight to ten different researchers and formal relationships as well as just consulting. It runs around uh, our improved cropping systems where we're trying to leverage all of the research that's been done and layer it into one uh, conclusive kind of best practice cropping system. Um, and we've got a grant from NRCS USDA to do that and our partners on that grant are Iowa State and Iowa Corn. They're both contributing partners to that to help deliver that for farmers. Um, other partnerships with Iowa State's around our relay cropping effort to really help provide more value to cover crops. And then we work with our pathologist up there for, for fungicide trials. So lots, lots going on between Ankeny and Ames there. I know there's also been a lot of work done with the nitrogen initiative with Iowa State University. Could you talk a little bit about that and yeah. what your goal for 2024 is with that project? We've been partnered with uh, Iowa State on the Iowa Nitrogen Initiative for a couple of years now, uh, helping get it off the ground. Uh, they've got a great team up there. And with access to the farmer network that we have, uh, we have signed on to a bigger involvement, a bigger role there. And we're looking at recruiting over 80 locations of farmers for that trial uh, in order to really provide more data uh, so we can have better tools and better recommendations for farmers so they can manage their nitrogen more profitably and more sustainably. We would uh, encourage everybody to go to our website. Also, one of our research agronomists that are in the area, we have one for every quadrant of the state. You can call me directly, call the office directly, just ask, I want to do some research, and they'll connect you to the right person. Another trial that's kind of been prominent recently is your partnership with Iowa Corn. Could you tell us a little bit about that partnership and what goals you're working towards for farmers with that one? With our partnership with Iowa Corn, I mentioned already the improved cropping system partnership there. We're also working with them on how to make cover crops work in fields uh, more effectively. Our farmers, you know, when they make a conversion from traditional tillage and traditional uh, no cover crops into a different area, it's putting their financial metrics at risk when they make that conversion. So our goal is to help learn more about it so they can do that conversion quicker and more successfully and more profitably. And, and Iowa Corn is right there with us to help deliver that for all of Iowa farmers. One thing we hear a lot is one of the struggles with conservation practices is that difference between when they're implementing the practices and when they're starting to see those benefits or those profit changes. What is RCFI currently doing to help farmers kind of mitigate that current challenge and working to improve the profitability of these different conservation practices? What we're doing is independent research on, on what species are the right species to do uh, in order to not hurt your cash crop the following year, or if not even improve the cash crop. Nitrogen management with, with, with cover crops, uh, how can weeds be controlled better with cover crops, termination timings, um, a variety of things around cover crops and how they work within, within the system. I know we've talked a lot about Iowa State University partnerships along with Iowa Corn. Are there any other universities that you're partnering with in the future or that you're excited about with upcoming trials? We are, are starting a, a program this year to, to reach out to our community colleges in the state, uh, working with their students, showing what ag can be for their future. If, if I want to be in agriculture but I don't want to be a farmer, what can I do? Um, if I want to be a computer programmer, I don't have to leave the state. There's, there's jobs in Iowa. And so we're trying to expose students at the same time uh, to the, the opportunities in agriculture across the state so we can keep that talent in the state. Looking into the future, what is RCFI ex most excited for for 2024? We have a very ambitious goal in 24, uh, a large research program and some really novel uh, research pro projects with the improved cropping system. Uh, we have a seeding rate trial that we're working with. This will be going into year two that, that's going to really provide a lot of answers, summarizing, validating, uh, contradicting possibly some data out there, just trying to wrap it all up in one that's happening on Iowa farmers' fields. Uh, not in a test plot somewhere remote from them. So those are a couple of the, couple of the areas that I think is really exciting for us. Um, and then we have a new program that we're working on to move that data from a database into farmers' hands. Joe, thank you for your time today. For this edition of The State of Soy, I'm Michaela McGill.
is Will Corman with Tri-C Farms in Hardy, Nebraska. Data became a huge thing 10 years ago and they just slowly been building more and more, collecting it. So the big question is, well, how are you gonna get that data to work for you? With the crop insurance side of it, the one way to, to make that data work for you is take that yield data and that planning data and plug that in. You build up that database through yield history, then obviously that's gonna help your bottom line as far as helping you sleep at night by having those guarantees a little higher.